Center. Latest world news. Ukrainian officer Nadia Savchenko, who is on trial in Russia over the killing of two journalists, has started drinking water. Her lawyer has said. She gave up food and drink last week and the lawyer said she would refuse food until the verdict is announced. M. Savchenko is accused of directing mortar fire that killed the journalists in Ukraine in 2014, a claim she denies. Western politicians have urged Russia to release her, and the U.S. envoy to the U.N. described the trial as farcical. The 34-year-old, who is also a member of the Ukrainian parliament, was captured two years ago while fighting pro-Russian rebels in eastern Ukraine. Thank God Nadia has stopped her dry hunger strike. Please from, Ukrainian President, Petro Poroshenko and everyone who supported her impacted her decision. Her lawyer Nikolai Polosov said on Twitter. A dry hunger strike is when someone refuses both food and water. At the end of her trial on Wednesday, Ms. Savchenko vowed to continue with her protest. She also showed her middle finger to the judge in a sign of defiance. The prosecutors have asked for a 23-year prison term, and a verdict in the case is due to be delivered on 21 and the 22nd of March. Speaking Ukrainian on Wednesday, Ms. Savchenko said the judges proved that Russians were fascists. A translator read out her formal, final statement in which she proclaimed her innocence and described her trial as a farce. Russia has faced growing calls to release Ms. Savchenko, including from the EU foreign policy chief, Federica Mogherini, and the US envoy to the UN, Samantha Power. More than 4,300 people, including Nobel Prize winner Svetlana Elksevich, have signed an open letter urging European leaders to act to secure her freedom. However, Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova said negotiations on any decision concerning M. Savchenko would not happen until after the court's verdict. M. Zakharova also accused the West of trying to put pressure on the judges in the Russian town of Donetsk.